It's every parent's worst nightmare, times a thousand. What starts as an ordinary afternoon for 14-year-old Carly Gregg and her mom quickly turns into a crime scene. <laughs> A chilling moment is caught on video when this 14-year-old girl, out of nowhere, launches a brutal attack on her own mother. What Carly does afterward will shock you. Brace yourself, because what you're about to see will leave you stunned. Let's recap. In this alarming home surveillance footage, you can see the baby-faced teen hiding a gun behind her back, making sure the coast is clear before quietly sneaking into her own bedroom. Inside, her mom Ashley Smiley is digging through Carly's things, looking for proof of her secret life with drugs. Seconds later, Carly opens fire. Ten seconds after shooting her mother dead, the high school freshman uses her mom's phone to text her stepfather Heath this message. When will you be home, honey? You see, she's got a diabolical plan for him too. As she waits, Carly starts to sing. Then she texts a friend. What does she have to say? Are you squeamish around dead bodies? She claims there's an emergency, so the friend comes rushing over. When she gets to Carly's house, Carly asks her one unforgettable question. Have you ever seen a dead body? My mom is in there. Ashley is on Carly's bedroom floor with a towel over her face. Then, Carly makes a chilling confession. She has three more shots waiting for her stepdad, Heath Smiley, to walk through the door. As soon as he walks in, she pulls the trigger. A round goes through his shoulder, but he overpowers her before she can finish him off. Carly and her friend run into the backyard, jump the fence, and take off. Police swarm the neighborhood with helicopters, tracking her down fast. Within an hour, she's in cuffs. But the real question is, how did it get to this point? What exactly set everything off on March 19th, 2024? Everyone says Carly and her mom are super close. Ashley lives for Carly, always worried about her. But Carly, at just 14, is dealing with a lot. Mood swings, an eating disorder, cutting herself, allegedly hearing voices, and she's barely sleeping. Then, on March 12th, just days before the shooting, she starts a new medication, but she says it makes everything even worse. On top of that, Carly's friend starts to worry because she's getting into drugs, getting high, and using burner phones. Her mom has no idea until March 19th, when the friend finally tells Ashley what's really going on. 40-year-old Ashley Smiley teaches math at the same high school in Brandon, Mississippi, where Carly's a freshman. After winning new Teacher of the Year in 2022, she's pretty well known around school. Since she's always there, it was easy for Carly's friend to go up to her and talk to her about what was going on with her daughter. That afternoon, it's just a normal day. Carly and her mom came home from school and let the dogs in like they always do. But when Carly heads to her room, she notices something that makes her freeze. Her mom is in there, digging through her things. Ashley is on a mission, searching for signs of her daughter's secret life. Just as she uncovers the hidden vape pens, Carly snaps. In that moment, she decides she's going to teach her mom a lesson. Without a word, she turns around, walks straight into her mom's bedroom, and grabs the 357 Magnum Ashley keeps tucked away in a cubby beside the bed. Seconds later, her teenage daughter ends her life with it. If Ashley had stumbled across Carly's diary, her concern would have gone through the roof. Carly had written a list of her personal beliefs, and some of them were chilling. There is no God, it's okay to be evil, and you don't need family. Carly 
Emily was already terrified of ending up like her biological dad, who she believed had bipolar disorder and schizophrenia. And her mom shared that fear, knowing some mental illnesses can run in families. But here's the twist. It's not even clear if her dad actually had those disorders or if his behavior was just a result of his drug addiction. Hearing that Carly was also getting involved with drugs must have been the final straw for Ashley. As the case gears up for trial, the prosecution offers Carly a plea deal. Serve 40 years and you'll still have some life left when you get out. But she turns it down. Sounds like a wild move, right? Her lawyers think they can win with an insanity plea, but they're wrong. The standard they need to meet is the monoton test. Did Carly know right from wrong at the time? Now, watch this clip again, and this time, pay attention to how she hides the gun behind her back. She's doing that so the camera won't catch it. Now, imagine you're on the jury. You're probably thinking, well, dang, if she's smart enough to hide evidence, she definitely knows right from wrong. And that's not all. She also ripped the kitchen camera down and hid it in the fridge. Plus, she tricked her stepfather into coming home by pretending to be her mom, called multiple friends to brag about it, and then ran from the scene. That's a whole lot of knowing right from wrong. It took the jury two hours to find her guilty guilty and sent her to prison for life without parole. So, what do you think? Was Carly driven by the fear of disappointing her mother with her drug use like her lawyers claimed? Or is she just plain evil? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like getting all the crime in half the time, remember to give this a like and share this video with other busy people like you. I'm Chris. My wife Amy and I are here three times a week with new recaps. See you next time.